Hello from Shrakes and hello from Smartherd. What's up folks? In this video, we are going to check out the codes to convert text into voice or in simple words, text into speech. Now let us quickly jump onto the Eclipse. Now here inside the Eclipse, we are having a project text to speech. Now guys, we will continue our coding in the Android interview from the next tutorial onwards. Now let me show you separately how to write the codes to achieve text to speech conversion, right? So I am having a main activity.java and activity main.xml. Now inside the xml file what we are gonna do, we are just going to drag and drop a text view. Let it be here. Now let's drag and drop a button. Now let's change its id, button id. Let's say bspeak, fine, text as speak. Now again drag and drop a button. Now this time let's say B stop speaking and text as stop. So this is our XML layout quite simple because our target is to achieve the functionality of text to speech right now. Now this was the slide that we discussed in the previous tutorial. So let us first achieve the first and second module define the text to speech object globally and Let's code inside our onCreate method, right? So what we're gonna do, define text to speech space TTS object, right? Now inside the onCreate, let us initialize our TTS object equal to new text to speech, select the first one. Now first parameter is actually the context. Now context, we are inside the main activity. So main activity dot this. Right now listener for the listener we have to you can see it is showing on init listener. So how we are going to implement it. Let's write new text to speech dot on init listener. Right here we go. Our on init method has been overrided fine. So now let's remove this garbage. So let's check out. So here after defining this on init method, what we're gonna do, we are going to check the status. If the status is equal to success, then set the language. Let's write if status equal to equal to text to speech dot success. Fine. Now this success is actually a constant that we discussed in the previous tutorial. Fine. If the operation is success and it is an error free process, then in that case, what we're gonna do, we have to set the language. The syntax to set the language is TTS object dot set language. Now inside it, we, sh we have to use our class locale dot. Now these are the accent that we can use here. Canada, Canada, French, Italian, J Japanese, Korean, Lots of stuffs are here. So what we're gonna do, we are going to select, let's say UK. Fine. British English, not a props. Now else, let's write our else statement. Let's write toast dot make test get application context feature not supported in your device. Now duration length short dot show. Now let's write control shift F. Fine. This aligns our code in a organized manner. Fine. Now this is our public void on init method. Now here I have checked the status. If the status is a success, then set the language to the UK accent. Now here if the operation is not a success, then this statement will be executed and it will be displayed to the user feature not supported in your device. So this is going to prevent your program from being crashed. Now what was our third module? Now our third module is to, to write the codes inside the on click method. So we have to implement the on click listener for our buttons. So. Let us do one thing, go to our activity main.xml. Now inside this speak, let's do one thing. Let's write the attribute on click 
do something fine copy this attribute and paste it here inside the stop button fine now this method is our first method that we saw in our buttons tutorial so please don't confuse it guys now inside the do something method let us let us add the parameter view space v now so finally i have defined a switch case statement inside the do something method when any button is clicked then do something method will be executed and when speak button is clicked then this case will be executed else this case will be executed now let's write our codes in order to make our button speak now inside the b speak what we're gonna do we are going to write the condition if else now inside the if else we have to define what now here in the if statement we have to define the condition whether there is some missing data or the language is missing for that what we have to do we have to for that we have to check whether this language is available or not so for that we have to define a variable now let's say let us define a variable int result fine now now this result equal to tts object dot set language locale dot uk now this statement will return some constant value to this integer result and the constant value will be stored inside the result now inside the do something method inside the b speak we are going to check if result is equal to equal to text to speech dot language not supported or result equal to equal to text to speech dot language missing data now now here what i am having i am just using the result which is the res returned value of this statement now if result is equal to language not supported or if result is equal to language missing data now if any of these two conditions is true then simply do what let's copy this toast message and paste it here if any of the condition is true then it will dis display user a message feature not supported in your device fine else let's write tts object dot speak now inside it we have to write what text now what is our text text is actually the stuff that is entered inside our edit text whatever user will enter in our edit text that will be speak out by our application fine so for that we will write the codes to ex extract data from our edit text now here q mode if you remember text to speech dot q flush now last let's write null fine now let us do something for this text let us initialize let us initialize our edit text space et fine and let us initialize our string text now here inside the on create let's write et now here i have initialized it now what we have to do now what we have to do inside the case r dot id dot b speak inside the else statement let's extract it text equal to et dot get text dot to string fine so this statement will extract all the data which user has entered inside the edit text and will store it inside the variable of string text and this text is equivalent to what this text so we will be able to convert text into speech whatever this text variable is having data that will be converted into the speech now for the b stop speaking let's write the codes if tts object is not equal to null then in that case tts object dot stop so 
so whenever user want the application to stop speaking the text right here so whenever he press the stop button then at that instant only the application will be turned on to the mute mode that is it will stop speaking the text right here fine now let us do one thing we are just missing out a one stuff let us override the on destroy method on destroy now inside the on destroy what we're gonna do just copy it and paste it here fine now add one statement tts object dot shut down fine now let me repeat it again what I have done here now the module inside the on create I think it is clear the codes that I have used here from this part to this part I have explained you in the previous video now inside the do something this is actually the on click listener on the click of the button these codes will be executed when user will press the speak button then the data from the edit text will be extracted and stored in this text and this statement will help us to convert text into speech right now as soon as the user press the stop button then our application will stop speaking now when you destroy the whole activity then on destroy is executed if you remember the activity life cycle that I showed you right so in that case if TTS object is not null which means it is having some data then it will be stopped at that instant and text to speech object the process of text to speech conversion will be shut down fine so in this way we can reallocate the memory to our application now let us do one thing let's run our application bam our app is running now let's type something hello from smarthood right now let us hit the speak button hello from smarthood did you just hear that hello from smarthood pretty cool hello from smarthood yeah and also hello from shrieks let's speak it hello from smarthood and hello from shrieks oh my god pretty awesome now again speak it hello from smart now hit stop hello from now as soon as I hit the stop button then you can automatically notice it stopped speaking in the middle of what it was speaking right let's try it again hello from smart heard and hello now you can check out again when I hit the stop button it's it just stopped speaking right so guys if you didn't get the codes what I did here please go back to my previous video and check out the algorithm is totally similar and it is going to clear your concept if you watch my previous video so in the next video I will implement this text to speech conversion in our application Android interview so till then stay tuned subscribe to my channel and have a good day thank you